Hey everybody, Pastor Hans here. Thanks for tuning in to The Daily Dose. This week on The Daily Dose, our theme is greater than. You know, that kind of symbol, greater than. You learned it in elementary school. 10 is greater than 5. 3 is greater than 1. For me as an adult, the Vikings are greater than the Packers. I drive a Ford, so a Ford is greater than a Chevy. Uh, to me, when it comes to vegetables, carrots are greater than broccoli, right? It's this symbol. And today I want to talk to you uh, about how that correlates to our faith, because I think there's something that you and I often forget that God wants you and me to know for certain every day of our lives. And that's this. God's grace is always greater than any failure you will ever have. God's grace is greater than your failures. Say this with me. God's grace is greater than my failures. But here's what I know for you and for me. Man, we can recount all our failures just like that. Just like that. For example, I remember, this is a silly one. When I was a kid, I remember I was wrestling with a buddy in a swimming pool. It was an above ground swimming pool in our backyard. Dad had saved his hard earned money to get us that pool. We were wrestling in it and we got close to the edge and get this, we knocked the side of that pool down and it flooded our backyard, right? I wish that was the only failure I've had in my life, but not all that long ago, I left the freezer door open and everything in our freezer spoiled. Or there was the time I left the hose on the spigot outside our house. Well, if you know what happens in Minnesota, it freezes hard, and I, uh, I ruined the pipes that connect inside our house. We had to get our plumbing redone. I wish those were my only failures, but I remember the time when I was in high school and I backed my car into the side of my dad's pride and joy, his Trans Am. There have been times where I've forgotten to pick up our kids. I've failed tests. I've failed to make the team. There, was, there have been times when I've failed in big ways, like the time I failed, well, I failed to leave early. And I got in my car, it was way too late, and I fell asleep at the wheel, destroyed my car. Uh, my first marriage, it ended in failure, if you will. Folks, you know this, it's pretty easy to recount all our failures. And sometimes, let's be honest, it feels as though we're walking sort of in a jungle, in a forest, and all we can see around us are our failures. But well, one of the biggest failures in the Bible, we could say, uh, was the story of Adam and Eve. You remember way back when they were placed in the garden, there was one tree that God said, just stay away from this one tree. You can have everything else, but stay away from this tree. And of course, you know, know what happened. They went and they grabbed that apple from the tree. What's interesting is how God responded to that. God didn't sort of run away and say, I'm done with you. I've had enough of you. I'm, uh, I'm going to try something else. Now, if you read the story, God actually says to Adam and Eve, who are hiding in that forest, in that garden, where are you? He says, where are you? And then what he does is he makes a promise to them. I love that. He says, where are you? And then he makes a promise to them. You and I, as we roam around in, <laughs> in the forest, in the jungle of all our failures, that's how it feels some days. We have a God who says, oh, where are you? And God makes a promise to you and me. You see, whatever we've done, however messed up our lives might seem, we've got a God who will never give up on you, never Ever. Your failures are not the end of you for God. In fact, in the book of Ephesians, Paul writes some really important words. I want you to listen to this. Ephesians chapter 2 says this, But because of his great love for us, God, who is rich in mercy, listen to this, made us alive with Christ, even when we were dead in our transgressions. 
Even amid all the mistakes we make, all our failures, here's what it says. It is by grace that you have been saved. You see, when God looks at you, God doesn't see a mountain, a forest of failures. That's not how God works. God says, where are you? And then God makes a promise that no failure you will ever make, no blunder, it it means nothing to God. All that God wants you to know is that this God looks at you and says you are mine, just the way you are. Folks, thanks for tuning in to The Daily Dose today. I'm so thankful for you. If you're watching on YouTube, hit the little bell so you get notifications. If you're watching on Facebook, well, why don't you share this with a friend? And if you're watching on Cable Access 181, invite a friend to watch with you. Take care, folks.